plane can fly. So, hi! Yeah. Look, Bella. <laughs> oh, no. Hello. Oh, no. Uh, 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 Max! Max! Three o'clock. Where will it stop? Story time! Are you going to read us a story, Max? Yes, I am. It's here in this old book. Huh? Uh, Max? Um, yes, Milo, what is it? Um, oh, it doesn't matter. I'll, uh, I'll tell you later. Oh, right. Well, it's called Miss Bilbury's New House. Oh! Miss Bilberry lived in a pale yellow house with a fine view of the mountains. She had a dog whose name was Cecily, a cat called Chester, and two birds called Chitty and Chatty. <laughs> Good names. <laughs> Every day, Miss Bilberry jumped out of bed, brushed her teeth, dressed, put on a hat, and had breakfast in the shade of the broad-leaved tree, looking out at all the blue mountains. Oh, lovely. Sweetie. After breakfast, she swept the path and fed the birds and animals. She watered the flowers and vegetables growing in her garden and had a light lunch on the veranda. Uh, what's the veranda? <laughs> it's like a front porch, Jake. Mm. Then she had a nap in a hammock. Oh, I've been on one of those. Between two swaying palms and had supper under the stars. Oh. Sometimes she played a violin and sang a few songs and then she went to bed. Oh. <sighs> it was a lovely life. And if it weren't for one thing, Miss Bilberry would have been completely happy. She just couldn't stop wondering whether she might not be even happier if she lived on the other side of the mountains. The more she looked, the more she wondered. One day, Miss Bilberry jumped out of bed and said, Everybody up! Today is the day for moving house. Let's start packing. They filled all the boxes, baskets and bags and put everything onto a wobbly old cart. Uh -oh. They waved goodbye to the house and the garden, the broad-leaved tree, and the two swaying palms, and set off towards the Blue Mountains. Bye. 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 Oh, I'm so excited, cried Miss Bilberry. I just can't wait to get to the other side. Is she leaving her lovely old house? Mm. I think so. They walked and pushed the cart for many miles, through fields and forest, through rain and sunshine, uphill and downhill. Yeah. In some places, the flowers were taller than Miss Bilberry. Oh, I'd like to live in those flowers. On and on they went through days and nights. It's a long journey. Mm, the further they went, the more lost they became. And it felt as though the journey would never end. I want to go back to our lovely old house, said Cecily. Oh, they're all homesick. That's right. Then, one day, Chitty and Chatty shrieked. We're there, we're there. Come and see! A lovely house! Come and see! <laughs> and there it was. Oh, my! gasped Miss Bilberry. Oh, my, oh, my! It's perfection! It's just as I thought it would be! <gasps> oh, thank goodness for that, sighed Chester. Mm. They ran all the way. They unloaded the cart and emptied the bags. Chester sniffed the air and looked puzzled. Oh, that's strange, he thought. But I feel as if I've been here before. Oh, I think I know what's happened. Miss Bilberry was so tired that she slept all afternoon in the hammock that she strung between two swaying palms, exactly like before. Oh, yes, got it. <laughs> Each morning, the sun shone. Miss Bilberry smiled and she leapt out of bed and her life seemed even better than ever. She was pleased with the way things had turned out, even though some quite peculiar things had happened lately. The first was that Miss Bilberry had found her very own old toothbrush in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, I've got it now! Then she found Cecily's bowl in the garden. And a very old sock she'd been knitting before they'd moved was under the bed. Mm. Well, how did that get there? Miss Bilberry gazed out at the mountains and wondered. Mm -hmm. Do you know what she was wondering? Yes! yes! What? Her new house is really her old house! Bilberry thought that a new house would be better than her old one. Yeah, but actually, her old one was really good all along. <laughs> and actually, even though this scarf is old, I do really like it. Yeah. And actually... 
Actually, I don't really like my new scarf. It tickles my neck and the colour isn't quite right. Mm. Would you like it, Fizz? <gasps> oh, yes, please, Bella. Oh, but I'll still keep my old one as a spare. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Jakey, yeah? I like your old aeroplane now oh. you've cleaned it. Do you, uh, you want to swap it for my new one for a while? Oh, yes, uh, here you go. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, where's your aeroplane, then? Ah, oh, it's, um, stuck up a tree, I think. <laughs> oh, Milo, that's not very fair, is it? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think we should all share our things, old and new. Oh, good idea, Bella. Come on. Let's get that plane down. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 